Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Jennifer Marie and in my channel I teach you different ways to make money online. A lot of my videos focus on how to make money by transcribing or captioning videos. And I've received this question from a lot of people. They ask me how fast do you need to be of a typer, how many words per minute, in order to make good money as a transcriber. Now I type quite fast. I would say my typing speed can be anywhere from 100 words per minute to 120 words per minute. And for me, it is difficult to make money transcribing back when I used to do that because you do get paid very low and you get paid per audio hour rather than per hour of actual work. So if you're a fast typer, it might take you four to five minutes to transcribe a one minute file. Um, and if you're a slow typer, it could even take you 10 minutes to do a one minute file. So you won't be getting paid a lot of money unless you're a fast typer. I've also been asked by people who have disabilities who can't type or maybe they have problems like carpal tunnel. So I wanted to see if there was a way that you can get paid to be a transcriber without actually having to do a lot of typing. Now, a lot of people use paid software like Dragon Naturally Speaking, but that is very expensive. So I recommend trying out a free alternative, and that is what I'm going to show you today. I am very excited that I have discovered this website, speechnotes.co, and here you can dictate using your just a microphone plugged into your computer, and it will type out everything that you're saying just by clicking. And from here, you can copy and paste this into whatever platform that you're using for transcribing, whether that's Rev or Transcribe Me or Scribby or QA World or CrowdSurf. So first of all, all you need to do is go to speechnotes.co, and it's free, completely free. And you have to be using the Google Chrome browser for this. So what you have to do here is from the drop down menu, choose the language that you're going to be speaking in. So if you're going to be speaking in English, you can select your accent. So this is great because they've got Australia, Canada, India, New Zealand, South Africa, UK, US. I'm going to choose English US and I recommend you choose English US as well because usually these transcription websites want you to have US spelling. So if I was doing Canada or UK, they would spell certain words differently than the US. For example, color, we spell with O-U uh, in Canada and the UK and the US just with an O. So I'm going to click English US. I would do that as well if I were you. Or you can also choose Spanish, etc., depending on what you're uh, transcribing. So click on English US. Then you just have to click on this start button and then to activate your microphone. Now, when this you click this for the first time, it will pop up saying, uh, do you allow speech notes to access your microphone, which I already have tested out and clicked yes. So I'm going to do a little test for you. And I recommend speaking slowly when you're doing this. So let's try it out. Hello, my name is Jennifer and I am trying out this website. Okay, I've just clicked it off and as you can see, it has typed, hello, my name is Jennifer and I'm trying out this website perfectly. So another thing, they have a little tip here. It says, while you're dictating, press enter on your keyboard to quickly move results from buffer to text editor. So what that means is as you're typing here, there's a little buffer and it's kind of typing what you're saying. And then when you finish, it will go down here into this section. So I'll do an example for you. In the summertime, I love going to the beach and I'm going to go to the beach every day this weekend. So as you can see, while I was typing this, oh, and see, I haven't turned it off yet, so it's still typing what I'm saying. Here, when I pressed enter, it went down here uh, as I was saying it. So that's great. Now, one thing there's a problem with this is that you can see there's no punctuation. And obviously, when you're transcribing, it's very important to have punctuation. You can't forget it. So you could either transcribe without the punctuation and then go back and do the punctuation, or you can say it. So for example, I'm going to erase all of this and I'm going to try to do this again. And if I want to insert a period, I will say period. If I want to insert a comma, I will say comma, question mark, colon, semicolon, exclamation mark, dash. Um, then they have new line, new paragraph, open parentheses smiley face, sad face. So all of these things you can try. So I'm going to do a little bit of a test and I'm going to be pressing enter as I finish a sentence um, just so we can see it 
working, okay? How are you today? Question mark. I'm going to the store tomorrow. Period. I need to buy coffee, comma, toilet paper, comma, apples, comma, and tape, period. Okay, so you can see how perfectly it has typed everything absolutely perfectly. Now from here, I can go down and click copy to keyboard. I can also play it back. Okay, so let's just say I have transcribed this or I have spoken it and the software has transcribed it for me. I've just invented this conversation. So what I'm gonna do is click copy or I can press control plus C on my keyboard to copy it. Now let's say I have, I'm doing a job on QA world and I'm right now I'm in the little platform where I do all my transcribing. I can right click and click paste or I can just press control plus V on my keyboard. And as you can see, that has now pasted what I had on the speech notes into this little platform. So what I can do now is click right before hello and go like that. And now this has been assigned to the rep. I can go backspace and I can press enter. And now that's the customer. Okay. Or you could click to switch it if you needed to switch between the customer and the rep. So this is just a, another example of how you can copy and paste what has just been transcribed into these dashboards here to save time. Now QA World is one of the ones that has a little automatic script for you, uh, text-to-speech. So this might not be the best example, but you could use this in Rev or anything, any other transcription website. Okay, so now I want to try to use one of these Google Chrome extensions. This one is called Voice and Voice Typing by Dictanote.co. And this says that you can use your voice to type across many different websites, that you can dictate in any text box on any website. So I want to see if this actually works. We're gonna click on Add to Chrome, then click Add Extension. Okay, so now it's just added this extension. So it says you can use this extension by clicking on this icon or by pressing Control plus Shift plus nine. I'm just gonna click on the icon. Uh, voice and voice typing wants to use your microphone. I'm gonna click Allow. You can select your dictation language. So it says, uh, after granting microphone permissions, restart Chrome. So we're gonna restart Chrome. Okay, so now I've restarted Chrome and luckily I have opened up Transcribe Me and there's a job available. So what I want to do is try to transcribe what I'm listening to as I press play and then repeat what I hear without having to type. And I wanted to do this directly into Transcribe Me rather than having to copy and paste like we did with the previous software. So this one is testing out the extension that's free that you can use directly in the platform. So let's get started. So let's say you have a new job and you're not very fast at typing. What you can do is just press play on the file. Say, for example, this is a two minute file we have to type and you can listen to a piece of it and then just say it uh, and then it'll type it right out here for you. So I'm not gonna actually play this because of privacy reasons for the client, um, but I will do a test and just make something up. So again, just click on the voice and voice typing extension icon and so we can turn it on. Today, I am going to talk to you about business partners, period. The most important thing is to work with someone who has the same mindset as you do, period. It's important that you can communicate well and work as a team in order to have success, period. Okay, so uh, it looks like that just was perfect. It, everything was typed out perfectly. Uh, it included like the apostrophe and the period because I said period. So I'm really thrilled with that. Now, if you needed to do a new speaker, you could just press enter yourself um, and that's great. Now, I am curious if I was speaking really, really fast, if it would transcribe everything that I'm saying. So because I was speaking kind of slow, so I'm just going to try that again, but speaking fast this time. Hello, my name is Jennifer, and today I'm going to do a little bit of a test and see if this extension works as well as we think it should work while I am speaking at a faster rate than I was before, period. Okay, great, awesome. I think this app is, this extension is wonderful. Uh, as you can see here, well, I mean, I didn't say comma or period, but everything that I did say was spelled perfectly correctly. Um, so 
one thing I would do if I were you is after you say everything that you're going to do, um, just do another quick check over it. Maybe you have to add in a comma or a period that you missed, and then you can go ahead and click submit. And that is a quicker way for you to transcribe rather than having to type everything else, everything out in case your hands are sore or you have carpal tunnel or you're just a slow typer. So thank you very much for watching this tutorial and I will have all the information of and the link below where you can download or access this extension that you can try yourself for free. And if you like this video, please click like and make sure to subscribe to my channel for more tips and tricks on transcribing and how to make money online. Thanks for watching.